the internet, Donna here. I apologize for the shit lighting and the shit quality of video this time around, but it's kind of the middle of the night. And I happened to, well, I didn't happen to, Margaret Colbert um, actually stumbled across uh, something last, well, last night, tonight, that um, kind of bothered the both of us. Um, as you know, I've been working with J.O.'s Denture Lab over the course of the last two weeks to get a brand new pair of dentures made for me by mail. And I intend on doing a full review when it's all said and done and everything. And those of you, which is probably all of you because her channel is amazing and I would be shocked to find out that someone is not, that's at my channel is not subscribed to Margaret as well. But on Margaret's channel, and I'll link her in the, uh, in the jeans in the in the description box but um on margaret's channel margaret is a big proponent of um russell klein uh accustomed dentures that are also ordered by mail so what happened was <clears throat> there is this picture let me scoot over here make room for it this picture popped up in an image search that she did on her phone for russell klein dentures and sure enough, if you go on your phone or on your tablet and type into a Google search, Russell Klein Dentures, you know, there's all this other stuff first, and then you get this picture, this stuff in the image search, and then when you click on it, it brings up this. That's looking pretty fucked up right now, ain't it? Just have a closer look. Yeah, that's Jamie's photo, and that's Jamie's email address, and that says Russell Klein right there, so that's pretty messed up looking. But the thing is, when you do this same search on a desktop computer or on a laptop, and you go into the images and look, this image doesn't come up. And if you go and click on the link to this website called GetSatisfaction.com, whether you click it from the mobile image search or whether you click on it in the regular search results whenever you search for Russell Klein dentures, um, you get to this website called GetSatisfaction.com and it's a thread from somebody that is looking for to buy dentures through the mail and she wants to buy them in a hurry. And then further down in the comment section on this thread, there is um, a post that Jamie himself made and said, you know, if you need dentures that quickly, then, you know, maybe order for me. I do good work and, you know, here it is and posted his Etsy. And it's clearly labeled with his logo and his name and his everything. And there's no mention in Jamie's comment anything about Russell Klein at all. So, um, Jamie Onifray and Russell Klein are not the same person. They offer similar services. Um, their price points are different. Their techniques are different. And um, their, their marketing is different. Okay? So the one operates out of Etsy right now. The other has his own website. They have their own branding, their own, their own look, their own points about their, their craftsmanship that they are proud of. And they're both amazing denture makers, and neither one of them deserves this. This is Google search and Google image results from Google search um, being craptastic for mobile is what this is. And what this is going to do is it's going to cause drama and folks in Russell's inbox because it looks bad. And it could potentially hurt his business because there's his name, but not his email address. By the same token, this could also hurt Jamie's business because there's his email address, but not his name. So it's bad on both sides. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and put up uh, Russell's email address here and Jamie's email address here. Okay. And then also a link to Russell's Etsy and a link to Jamie's website it goes in the description box. And you can check out all of the services that both of these fine, gen talented gentlemen have to offer and decide for yourself. 
you know, who it is that you want to go with or which type of denture it is that you might want or just have an idea of what's out there because there's there are options. There are. And so you're not stuck going straight through your affordable dentures or your Aspen Dental or your Coastal Dental or your West Dental or and any of those chain stores, you're not stuck there if you're not happy there. There are other options. And both of these gentlemen provide fantastic options for anybody who's looking for them. Um, so that's about all that I have to say on the matter, except for thanks, Google search. You're a dick. Yeah, so that's pretty much all that I have to say about the subject. It, it's simply a matter of Google search for mobile acting differently than Google search for desktop and to that point I want to say Google get your shit together it's this kind of mistake that can ruin two men's livelihoods and take food off of two families tables or more depending on who else it is that you've done this to now I know that Google didn't go and maliciously target anybody but the simple fact of the matter is that having the name of the thread right there in the middle of the image, it don't look good. And I'm sure that it's that, it, that way for a lot of your image search results. So get the titles for the articles out of there and just leave the little link at the bottom. There's no need for that. Bastards. Um, I really wish that that was something happier. Uh, I mean, in, in happier news, well, no, I'll save the happier news for daylight hours. Like, it's seriously like 11.30 at night right now. <laughs> I just had to get this done and get it out there before um, the uh, denture corner of the internet goes, Wah! Fucking drama! Wah! That shouldn't happen. <laughs> it's not anything to get up in arms about or anything like that. It's simply the Google image search for mobile versus Google image search for desktop. One is a dick and the other one is fine. So also Margaret um, has said that she's going to share this video on her channel and I supremely am thankful that she's um, offered to do that. Um, I hope that I've been able to clear something up for everybody. If there are questions, leave them in the comment section. Whether it's Margaret's comment section or my comment section, I will be happy to come and stalk both of them because I basically have no life on a Friday and, um, and answer any questions that might pop up. I'm sure Margaret is well equipped to handle any questions that might pop up. Until next time, and I will be back on my channel tomorrow for you guys with a brand new fresh video. But until then, be good to each other, keep smiling, and keep being awesome.